Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Nur Fadila Ibrahim, and the worldwide news I choose is about new variant COVID in India. India has said a new variant of the coronavirus, first discovered there in March, may be linked to a deadly second wave. Samples containing the double mutant or B.1.617 variant. A double mutant is when two mutations come together in the same virus. At the Health Ministry news briefing, Dr. K. Vijay Rayavan said that Fast 3 is inevitable given the high levels of circulating virus. The current surge of the virus has already overwhelmed the healthcare system with hospital beds, oxygen, and even crematorium in short supply. Out of roughly 13,000 sample sequence, more than 3,500 were found to be variant of concern including B.1.617 across eight states. The B.1.617 variant was reported in several states reporting surge including Maharashtra, Karnataka, West Bengal, Gujarat, and Chhattisgarh. In a weekly report, the WH state that India accounted for nearly half the coronavirus cases reported were right last week and a quarter of deaths. What about vaccine? India has been unable to meet an ambitious vaccination program. It initially wanted to vaccinate 300 million people by July. And there's been a dramatic drop in jobs because of a short age of doses. Just 26 million people out of a population, 1.4 billion have received both shots, and about 129 million have only received a single dose. Vaccine stocks in the country have nearly dried up with the less age break to become eligible, adults under the age of 45 struggling to register and secure appointments. So for me, it's a very serious and dangerous situation, not only for Indians, but all peoples around the world. Uh, I think like the experts say, lockdowns and vaccination are the only way out. But the government would need to act now in, to break the chain, even it's the impact for the economy. But you have to know like uh, your health is more is the most important in your money. You can get money if you're not in a good condition.